So in this video, we're just going to go over how to go from polar to rectangular form. And in my opinion, this is much simpler than going from rectangular to polar because basically all you do is you expand r cis theta to r times the quantity of cosine of theta plus i sine of theta, and then you simplify from there into rectangular form. So with our first example, z sub 1 equals cosine of pi halves plus i sine of pi halves and then we simplify from there so cosine of pi halves is 0 and sine of pi halves is 1 so in re rectangular form z sub 1 equals i for z sub 2, we do the same thing, except this time we have to remember to distribute the 2. So z sub 2 equals 2 cosine of negative 2 pi thirds plus i 2 sine of negative 2 pi thirds. And so here we have z sub 2 equals 2 times negative 1 half. plus i 2 times negative root 3 over 2. And so z sub 2 is going to equal negative 1 minus root 3 i. And finally for z sub 3, z sub 3 equals 3 cosine of 3 pi over 4 plus 3i sine of 3 pi over 4. So that means we have z sub 3 equals 3 times negative root 2 over 2 plus 3i times root 2 over 2, which gives us z sub 3 equals negative 3 halves root 2 plus 3 root 2 over 2 i. These are technically the same thing, so you could factor this and say it's 3 halves root 2 times negative 1 plus i as well. But in general, all you have to do to go from polar to rectangular form is expand cis form into cosine of theta plus i sine of theta and then simplify.